it's time for our story time. So as the young people go back and get their own baskets, Their, their 
biking badge and their hiking badge and their cooking badge and I'm not sure about the pottery maybe this was pottery I'm not sure but they are emblems that tell us about the person what the person did right so what if Jesus put an emblem on your heart and told us about you that's my question what would he put on his heart that would tell us about you that you belong to him oh let's take a look let's see if there's anything he could do to tell us that we belong to him that's why the bible says that he would write his law in our heart <coughs> the first four commandments they tell us how to love who i love god and the last six commandments tell us how to love people how to love mommy and daddy how to love our neighbors how to love people so when you think about this god writes that in your heart he writes how to love him and he writes how to love people and that way he knows you belong to him when you do that right so like oh like these little emblems if i had this on my on my shirt you'd know that i was a lifeguard if i had this on my shirt would you know i was a lifeguard the same way, if you have God's law in your heart, He knows you belong to Him. Amen? And when you love, when it's all about love. <laughs> so much fun. I will put, would you look at the screen with me for a second? I will put my law within them. Jeremiah 31, 33. I will put my law within them. And would you push the button for this one and see what the next one says? Just push right there. Okay, I'll look with you. <gasps> Who's in the heart up there on the screen? Jesus. Jesus. So when we have God's law in our heart and we're loving God and we're loving people, then everybody knows that who's in our heart. Jesus is in our heart. Because did Jesus do everything right? He did everything right the way he was supposed to, the way his father showed him how to do it. Well, that's our story for today, but our story is, who is in our heart? Who's in our heart? Yes, and if we ask him to come in, does he always say, say he will stay? Yes. Yes, so why don't we ask him to come in our heart right now, ask him to write his law in our hearts right now, so we can love and be, and be loving, would you fold your hands for our prayer and bow your heads? Thank you. Father in heaven, without you we can do nothing right, nothing good, nothing that counts for anything. But if we ask you, Lord, to send your image of your heart and put an emblem on us that, that you have written your law in our heart like you promised, we will look like Jesus to people instead of just looking like ourselves. And that's what we want, Lord, for people to see you in us. We pray in Jesus' name. And the boys and girls and young people said, Amen. Thank you. You may go to your seats now.